This is Steve. And um, I was looking at this post today from Neil Avaz out there in Australia. And he's trying to do a house with a gullwing roof like this. And I'm um, sorry about that. He did this manually and hasn't really joined the roofs properly. There's lots of little errors here and there. Just like right here, these are not joining correctly. But also, if you look at the fascia top heights, he's got here 2188. And then, let's see what this one is. It's 2185. This one here, 2189. So, I think the pitches are different. The whole thing is kind of screwed up, but the concept is basic. It's just a building with a two tier, you know, just a like a Bahama style roof. That's what I would call it. And then these gables sticking out. So what I thought I'd do is just, <clears throat> you know, draw one from scratch. And I've done a little prep work here. Uh, I've created a railing. So it's um, post, -a post a beam is the style. And top and bottom rails, etc. And um, let's see if there's anything amazing about this. We're going to make the pitch 4 and overhang 24. But one thing I want to do is open up the roofs in the defaults here. <clears throat> and I'm going to change the pitch to 4. I'm going to make the overhang to 24. I'm going to actually raise it. And I'm going to uncheck all these. Uh, just one inch just to get it, raise it a little. I don't know why. Just I'm just doing it. There's no real good reason for it. Um, I'm going to leave all this for now and um, actually for this uh, I want to change the materials. I think that's what I want to do most. This asphalt roofing here. Select those. You can select them both at the same time. Click here. Go to the core library and select a sheet metal roof right here. Go to standing seam, and I'm just going to choose white standing seam. And um, that should be good. And I think we're good on the defaults there. So, got our railing, and I also have defined a pony wall that has vertical siding on the top and lap siding on the bottom. So I'm going to use that to create the building. I'm just going to draw something out here. And I'm using the wrong view, so I'm going to switch to my working plan view, which selects my quarter inch scale annotations and my working layer set. And uh, I'm going to add some dimensions on here and then set these. I'm going to make this 36 foot. And I'm going to make this 20 foot, just for fun. And then using this tool, I'm just going to drag and delete all those dimensions. And then I'm going to use the railing tool and draw this railing around here. And I'm just winging it here for now. We'll put some dimensions on it and figure it out. Now I'm going to use the dimensioned end-to-end -end dimension tool and just dimension these because I got to put them exactly where I want them. And uh, I'm going to make them 72 inches all the way around. Some busy work here, folks. Sorry. I can just drag this till it lines up, I think. There we go. Okay, and make this 72. Make this 72. It's easier just to do this, I think. 72. Then I'm going to make this 16. And actually, I'm going to add a dimension here, too. And I'm going to make this, I don't know, 12 foot. It's good. And make this 16. Now, 
I am going to center these in this room and I'm going to have to reconnect these and I'm going to center this one and yeah, those stayed together I didn't move very much and then I am going to draw I think I will just draw this back and draw this back so that I can create a room here but I don't need this line I'm going to delete it and the same here now I'm going to click on this wall and break it right here and break it right here <clears throat> I'm going to open these two railings and I'm going to make them open and no rails and they just joined so that's not what I wanted so the first thing you want to do is reverse these walls so they don't join together like they just did then open them and make the changes I just showed you no rails open now they won't join together and um, we have a room and I want to raise this room 24 inches so I'm just going to click here on the ceiling and type in 24 and hit tab and it'll raise the ceiling now I need to do the same thing over here I'm going to hit control B select the wall control B and break it and break it then I'm going to reverse that wall I have a hot key for it that's why it's doing it but you can go down here and hit this key right here and uh, I'm not sure why they show these gaps it's just chief does stuff like that and then I'm going to open these two here and make it open and no rails and then and then also no half post at wall I should have done that too there we go now I got this room I'm going to add 24 inches here and I'm going to have to make sure there's no half post here either. All right. And this one's 24. Okay. Now, <clears throat> to get our gullwing, what we're going to do is we're going to click on these railing walls right here and open them and go to the roof tab and then we got 412 pitch but we want an upper tw pitch and I'm going to make it 12 and then I'm going to say 80 inches in and hit OK. Now this wall I want to be a gable so I'm going to go down here and just click this and same with this wall make it a gable and um, I think on this here I'm going to go like that oops sorry 240 inches so I and um, yeah we'll just leave it like that for now I'm not going to the same detail he had but uh, just we don't need dang it he we don't need all this detail so on these that's good that's good roof tab just to double check yeah let us now let's open these rooms right here and look at the structure tab now we can't do two rooms at once sorry and we don't want a flat ceiling over it and we don't want this so we're going to delete this and um, I think that's all we need to do here and then here same thing um, delete the ceiling structure here and let us <clears throat> build the roof and see what happens and it looks like it turned out pretty good I'm going to move to my roof plan view and I'm going to clean this up because I don't like the way it looks so I'm going to type in gutter 
turn it off. I'm going to type in overhang, just a little bit of it, and turn it off. And then planes, and I'll type roof, plane. And I'm going to select that, turn the color blue, because I like blue. And solid 50 is good. Turn on my line weights, and you'll see it's nice and easy to see. And uh, let's just take a look at this. All did it done all automatically. There's your gull wing roof. And um, we have soffits, which we don't need, and it needs some cleanup here and there, but pretty good for all automated and just doing it without manually doing anything. Now, what I would do here is I would click these three roofs, open them up, go to the structure tab, change the rafters to seven and a quarter, which is a two by eight, and then come down here to these deals. Um, we don't want soffits on this roof, and um, we don't want box steves, and we're going to do square. We're going to add a rafter tail, so I'm going to hit that and then type RT. It'll pull up, pull up the list of rafter tails, and I like five. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to extend it six inches. Ridge, oh, that's right. I'm going to delete this ridge and add new. Go to the bonus ridge caps and pick this one right here. Freeze shadow boards. We don't need to mess with that. Oh, one more thing on the structure here. On this, we don't need any subfascia or gable fascia. And this, we are going to make a just do a one by. Oh, I'm I'm going to say three. And let us build the roof framing and see what we get say yes you want to see it the other thing we need to do is turn the gutter off so select the roofs go to the options tab and turn the gutter off there you go and there is your rafters with a rafter tail and a little blocking on the end you don't need that blocking i just like to do that but uh that gives you some idea of how to build a gull wing roof that's quick i know um but uh give you an idea on how to do that and on this roof here uh, you can change it to square and don't have a box eve go to the structure tab and make sure you have I don't know if you want that or not and then change it and let's see what happens and you get that sloping soffit there but then you probably want to take the gutters off. So I would say do plum cut here. Go to your structure tab. I think everything here is okay. And there you go. So you got a sloping soffit at least. And um, your gutters on here. So that looks pretty good. Anyway. That's a gullwing roof, a quickie, and uh, hope it helps somebody. Thanks.